Hello and welcome back to Business Matters at the Hindu with me, K. Bharat Kumar. In November, the company OpenAI introduced Chat GPT to the world, powered by what it called GPT 3.5. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. Since then, it's been on everyone's lips. There's numerous questions. Can it change our lives? Can it enhance our lives? Will it replace our jobs? Before we try and boil the ocean, let's see what Chat GPT can do currently, today. Chat GPT is a large language model that OpenAI developed. It is capable of reinforcement learning from human feedback. It is like a chatbot, the average chatbot that you see on several companies that provide you service. You can type in questions, it can give you factual answers based on large data sets that it has been fed with. It can ask you further questions if it thinks that your own question is incomplete. It can challenge your assumptions. It can politely refuse to give an answer if your question is inappropriate. Not only that, it can write fresh programming code. It can tell you what's wrong with a certain code that you feed into it if that code is incorrect. And last but not the least, it can give you flowery poetry on demand. Do technology companies truly believe that ChatGPT can change their lives? Looks like they do. Bloomberg has reported that Microsoft intends to invest $10 billion in OpenAI over a period of years. It had earlier invested a $1 billion in 2019 and had participated in another round of funding that OpenAI had in 2021. For the sake of our Indian viewership, $10 billion translates to 82,000 crore of rupees. Rarely do people in business invest that kind of money or at least commit to that kind of investment even if it's over a period of several years, if they didn't believe that something earth-shaking wasn't possible with this technology. Microsoft is said to have already integrated some of these artificial intelligence features in its products. Bing Search, for example, in, especially in the area of image generation. I tried something like, you know, give me a, an image where an elephant wearing spectacles is climbing the Statue of Liberty. Even though I did not get exactly that kind of image, I did get an image with an elephant wearing spectacles, the Statue of Liberty in the background and so on. So give it a shot. Microsoft is also said to be integrating the Teams software with artificial intelligence features. The software maker listed a range of new features that will be available with Teams Premium, including intelligent recap, AI generated chapters, timeline markers, automatically generated notes and tasks, and live translations. Google is said to have brought back founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin briefly back from retirement at the invitation of current Google chief Sundar Pichai in December, according to a New York Times report. The founders ideated, met with executives, reviewed Google's AI strategy, listened to product pitches and so on, all signals that Google is taking very seriously the challenge to its enormous search business. Two years ago, Google unveiled what it calls its next generation language and conversation capabilities powered by its language model for dialogue applications, or what it calls Lambda for short. In a blog post earlier this week, it said the company had been working on an experimental conversational AI service powered by Lambda. It is calling this service BARD, as in B-A-R-D. It has opened up BARD to trusted testers ahead of making it more available to the public in the coming weeks. That brings us to the next question. What industries will see impact from artificial intelligence tools like ChatGPT? Impact is a loaded word. It can have positive and negative connotations. But if someone comes and asks us, will this particular job profile disappear in the future? There is no saying. No one knows what the future holds. But the general consensus among executives in the industry is sometime in the near future, your resume will look slightly different from what it is now. Today, you say, you know, I'm capable of using software tools such as Word, spreadsheets, um, PowerPoint presentations and so on. There will come a time when you'll say these are the AI tools that I'm conversant with that will make me better at my job. Now let's take a look at industries specifically that could see impact. Creative industries, entertainment for example. In the worst case scenario, chat GPT or equivalent tools could act as virtual assistants to help you book tickets for your favorite movie. In the best case scenario, if you're a director, you could have entire scripts written by such tools in a matter of minutes. Moving from entertainment from the large screen to the small screen, your own mobiles. I asked Chad GPT on my mobile what Kishore Kumar's first movie song was. It gave me an accurate answer. And on demand, it also gave me part of the lyrics of that song. 
and it's only one step away integrating that with your favorite online video site. In future, it could ask, okay, you asked me for this song, would you like me to have a playlist based on these parameters? Content creation. I asked Chad GPT to write a poem in praise of a favorite topic of mine, yoga, for example. And then I asked it to write a poem in praise of a company that I had earlier worked for. In both cases, it did a reasonable job. So smart taglines for advertisements, for example, will no more be a challenge. As mentioned earlier, ChatGPT can really help you write accurate software code or accurate for the most part. To check out how it can help in its current status, check out Fernando Dolio's take on ChatGPT to help write software. This was an article that appeared in medium.com, but we have an abbreviated URL here for the sake of brevity. The author says he asked ChatGPT to help him write a sample traveling salesman algorithm. This is a problem that is pretty old and has challenged brilliant minds in the area of math. The idea is to, for a given set of cities, for example, is for the salesman to find the optimal route to ensure that he visits all cities and come back to the point of origin. The interesting thing is Mr. Dolio did not get a one-shot solution at the first attempt. He said there were several iterations involved. At every step, he was communicating with ChatGPT, pointing out what else he needed at that stage. And for every step, ChatGPT acknowledged it and said, you know, here's another try. At one point, there was error in the code that it threw up and Mr. Dolio pointed out there is an error and ChatGPT acknowledged it and said, here's the fix. So the author says that it was almost like communicating with a fellow developer. He wasn't used to addressing a computer like this earlier. Education and training is another area where artificial intelligence can make a huge difference. Whether your child is a sixth grader or you are in the corporate world, reimagine training. In the near future, it's possible for an AI tool to be just given an instruction manual as a data set and it should be able to produce a learning module all on its own, completely with different chapters, with increasing levels of complexity, and then being able to conduct tests in between to see how the learner is progressing and so on. But in its current state, ChatGPT is not without its problems. In the education and training example that I talked to you about, someone tried you know, trying to generate a Pythagoras theorem lesson and found that even in the basic squaring of a number, for example, in the middle of a problem, there was a calculation error. It was something that humans can do, but for an AI tool to generate such an error is a bit of a surprise. So there are still gaps to fill. When we talk about limitations with regard to ChatGPT, who better to comment on this than its creator itself, OpenAI? Among all the limitations that OpenAI lists out, the most succinct is as follows. ChatGPT sometimes writes plausible sounding but incorrect or nonsensical answers. Fixing this issue is challenging as during reinforcement learning training, there's currently no source of truth. Two, training the model to be more cautious causes it to decline questions that it can answer correctly. And three, supervised training misleads the model because the ideal answer depends on what the model knows rather than what the human demonstrator knows. Because of such limitations, companies are hesitant to begin using AI tools such as ChatGPT in a significant manner to help in their functioning. Stack Overflow is an example of a company that has temporarily banned the use of ChatGPT generated text for content on its site. Stack Overflow is a platform that helps technology development through the use of collective knowledge. Here is its policy statement. It says, because the average rate of getting correct answers from ChatGPT is too low, the posting of answers created by the tool is substantially harmful to both the site and its users. It says that while the answers which ChatGPT produces have a high rate of being incorrect, they typically look like they might be good and the answers are very easy to produce. There are also many people trying out ChatGPT to create answers without the expertise or willingness to verify that the answer is correct prior to posting. Because such answers are so easy to produce, a large number of people are posting a lot of answers. The volume of these answers, which runs into thousands, and the fact that the answers often require a detailed read by someone with at least some subject matter expertise in order to determine that the answer is actually bad, has effectively swamped our volunteer-based quality curation infrastructure. So, tools like ChatGPT and its ilk promise to change the world, but they aren't there yet. Before we wind up this discussion, let's look at how McKinsey, management consulting firm, has summed up 
business areas that could see impact from tools like ChatGPT. Marketing and sales. So crafting personalized marketing, social media, and technical sales content, including text, images, and video. Creating assistance aligned to specific businesses, such as retail. Operations is the next area. Generating task lists for efficient execution of a given activity. IT and engineering, we discussed this in our conversation, writing, documenting, and reviewing code. Risk and legal, the ability to answer complex questions, pull out vast amounts of legal documentation, and drafting and reviewing of annual reports, and so on. Research and development, accelerating drug discovery through better understanding of diseases and discovery of chemical structures. That's all we have for now. But we'd like to know, what do you think of AI? How will it enhance your life? How will it change your life? Do you think it will add value in your area of work? Leave your comments below. Until we meet again, have a lovely week ahead.